All right, this is Robert Forsh with the uh, YouTube channel Truth. I've got a storm warning, and I'm going to cover that. Um, a bank holiday coming up uh, tomorrow. Who knows how long that'll last? It, it, I'm not saying that the financials are going to crash tomorrow or any time in the uh, near future. I'm just saying that it's imminent. It could. It could happen any time. Imagine if you were to go to the bank and it were closed. You couldn't, um, you couldn't have access to your assets. What if artificial intelligence uh, cuts the power supply in your area? So all the digital transactions can't happen. What if there's a reset on the financials? That's eminent. Mark of the Beast I could also put in there. Uh, this is my bank, the Anderson Brothers Bank. This is where I do my banking. Some of it, anyway. The YouTube channel Truth, Robert Force. You can hashtag that if you care to. And one of the reasons for that is because it'll allow you access to a lot of information. Uh, when I first... Uh, decided to go with uh, YouTube Truth. The, the name Truth is the name of the channel. To get there, you might need to hashtag YouTube Truth. Uh, one of the benefits that I have uh, for having that name is it, it's a verb, too. I, I want you to, um, to YouTube it. I want you to consider YouTubing the truth, to seek the truth with all your heart, because it matters for eternity. So what we've got going on now is a very busy weekend here in the Myrtle Beach area. There will be people coming. This is the most driven to destination in North America, quite possibly the world, I don't know. So I wanted to uh, take us for a ride around while I could and uh, talk about some of the details of artificial intelligence and the, um, the cybernetic collective of the hive mind of humanity. What, are, what do those words even mean? Well, I'll tell you. I'm going to unpack some of that for you. And um, part of what that is is just the, the fact that so many people like myself and many of my friends and family are on um, digital technology, uh, personal computers, mobile personal computers that are uh, smartphones, smart devices, tablets, laptops, all of that. And what it allows us access to is a lot of information. Some of that information is going to be accurate. <laughs> Some of it may be very deceptive. Uh, by the nature of uh, the truth, there, there is the truth and then there's everything else. And how will you recognize the truth when it's right in front of you? And I don't just mean my channel and what I'm saying. I mean, in general, as you're, as you're doing life, how will you recognize it? Um, because I, I believe, thank you, I believe that the, the truth is uh, challenging to find. And I would go so far as to say, in the, in the context of this, it's uh, humanly impossible to believe ultimately the most important truth. So we've got a lot of cars coming in right now. I'll bounce back and forth to a few of these topics. Um, we have most of our world economy is on is digital. And I've been transitioning to a lot of talk about the um, artificial intelligence because I believe that's the biggest threat we have facing us right now. What we're facing is uh, an entity that is uh, or uh, okay so I'm going to back up just a, a step. I believe that God is sovereign meaning he's in charge and that's disconcerting to some because that means that he's allowing things that we don't like or agree with. There's atrocities that happen around the world and that's unfortunate yet I trust that God knows what he's doing that being said um, 
God, Satan will use who and what he can, and God will use it all, including Satan, the fallen angels, Satan's children. Uh, God uses everything, everything and everybody, uh, to work together for his ultimate purpose. And I, I don't know uh, what happened just recently um, when I did my first broadcast, where I, uh, not my first, but today, today on Facebook, just uh, less than an hour ago, I'm not getting any notifications of anybody watching. Um, and I don't know if that's AI just seeing what I'll do with that. Could, could be. Um, but anyway, it, it appeared to be an active uh, broadcast. The reason why I say that, I, I made sure that my uh, wireless was uh, disconnected from my home because what will happen is quite often the Facebook broadcast will not make that transition from a wireless router to my uh, digital data mobile. Um, it's a kind of a, a little bit of a technical housekeeping. You should, you should be aware of that. There's a lot of challenges with the broadcast yesterday at some pretty significant points in my um, broadcast last night coming home from Costco. There were breakups in the, um, in, in the audio. It just happens. Sometimes that's just the way. That's just the way it is. So what I endeavor to do is to bring a, a pretty high quality broadcast where you can hear uh, what I believe is actionable, very important information. So the the thing that I continually say is I encourage everybody to seek the truth with all your heart because uh, three people per second no longer have their human experience. We're all eternal beings having a temporary human experience. At some point in this human experience, the child of God will absolutely be born again. That's for sure, and that's forever. It's a big deal. And uh, because of that, uh, we could see um, rapid changes <clears throat> quickly. When I, um, I had a, I still have her as a friend. She would type some of the most bizarre hashtags that went nowhere. <laughs> some of them did. Some of them did. And what I found out was that I could actually create a video that I had a hashtag title, and it would be right next to videos dealing with the content that I wanted to talk about. Uh, pretty powerful information that would be um, unleashed and and it would be right next to what I'm wanting to talk about so when I first uh, this is one of the points that uh, got deleted yesterday from the discussion or from my audio when I when I said that I hashtag Elon Musk lies and when I first uh, checked out that hashtag, I was right next to my video. The video that I created and talked about it was right next to over 100 million views where Elon Musk is in those videos. Now, if you hashtag it, uh, depending on where it is at the moment, it could make me a liar if it wanted to. Um, what, what happened was my uh, Elon Musk lies video is down a, a kind of like the equivalent of a digital dirt road. It's by some other videos that have very uh, few views. And that's how sophisticated this is and can be. So when we um, type in a, a word search to find out information in 2019, uh, July 3rd, it's going to give us largely different results because of the development of artificial intelligence algorithms and where we are in this battle. It's a, it's a theater of battle. It's, uh, there are weapons of mass deception all around us. Uh, computer graphic imagery would be a component of that. And uh, that's a big deal because uh, seeing is believing what? What do we see and what do we believe about what we see? And therein lies the issue. 
uh, the enemy of our souls knows that uh, we are very easily manipulated by what we look at, what we can see. So in the, in the movie that Roddy Piper was in, uh, They Live, he had this pair of glasses that he could put on and see things from a very different perspective. And as I mentioned, it's, uh, that's a good analogy, that's just fine. Um, what, what many of us are doing is removing a veil, taking away the visual impairment of, uh, of a mind that's been programmed to just kind of blindly, pun intended, blindly believe what the uh, mainstream narrative actually is. It's a dangerous place to be because they're lying. They're lying and I ain't buying. Who's they? Well, Satan and all those that are unknowing participants of that deception. I was one of those uh, individuals. So this is the waterway and there's a storm brewing. There's a storm coming in. I was going to talk about it today. I chose not to uh, until later on when a, a real uh, storm actually started coming on in. Now, what's happening is the, uh, the days are, uh, the sun is appearing from this vantage point later in the, uh, in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, in the Myrtle Beach area, where we're expecting 20 million guests or so this year. South Carolina, uh, as a whole, gets uh, roughly 30 million guests in a year. That's mind-blowing. So the infrastructure to handle that is amazing. Now when we had Hurricane Matthew, I did a video um, and I, I mentioned something about seafood and I started the live broadcast in a Walmart that was uh, fully opened and only partially uh, functional in that their generator malfunctioned and they had to throw away over a hundred thousand dollars worth of food. So when we look around, or when I do, and I'll tell you about it and comment on it, when I drive around here and there's people all loaded down with roof racks and, and vans and, and SUVs packed full of beach stuff, that stuff could be just left out in a parking lot in lieu of uh, food and uh, provisions. Food and toilet paper and, and whatever else they can get, propane tanks, if we, if we had a massive power outage, I know they talk about Kim Jong-un and, uh, and the EMP or, or Russia, it was back in the Cold War days, that they could hit us with an electromagnetic pulse uh, weapon that would take us back to the Stone Ages, as they would say. Artificial intelligence can do that wherever God allows. So artificial intelligence is smart. Um, omniscience, all-knowing, trumps that, pun intended. Um, there's, there's partial knowing, and then there's all-knowing. And then there's powerful, and then there's all-powerful. So the attributes of God, uh, some of them are all-knowing, omniscience, and omnipotent, all-powerful. That's special. That's a big deal. That's the side that I'm on. In the, in the war that we're in for the hearts, souls, and minds of humanity, there is, uh, the, the battle is largely in the mind of the individuals. Uh, fear is false evidence. A, an acronym for it that I like to use quite a bit is false evidence appearing real. And then we've got deception, which is real evidence appearing false. For gosh sakes, uh, people believe, still believe that we're living on a spinning ball hurling through space with people upside down in relationship to other people. Water exposes the impossibility of the globe. When you tip water upside down, it just goes down. It just seeks its level, it'll do it 
all day long. Not some of the time, all the time. When we have rain fall, that's what it does. It falls. It doesn't go the opposite direction um, on the other side of what they say is a, an imaginary or the globe. The globe is one of the ma most massive deceptions and mind control um, of, of all of human history. There's never been anything quite like it. It's uh, re relatively ubiquitous, and it's, um, it's elevated as nearly the unquestionable. How could we, how could we be lied to on su such epic proportions? Easily. It's been going on for a long time. So <clears throat> now I just wanted to um, see if I can get a, a parking spot here. I wanted to go out um, by the ocean briefly, if I can. It's going to be really windy, and uh, I might not be able to get a spot here. I don't think I'm going to be able to. It's all parked up. Uh, what we've got, we've got, um, let me flip this around. Uh, here's uh, evidence of a puddle that's going to fill up. We're going to get a gully washer. There's uh, uh, parasailers right in front of us. We'll, we'll see them uh, going on by. I'll just uh, go right here for a moment. They're going to have to bring those people. I've got very little. Okay, so I just uh, reestablished my connection kind of interesting. I pulled ahead a little bit and my uh, showed I had no connection. Okay, so I'm going to take us on around uh, to a, a bit of a different vantage point. And I'm going to talk about uh, a few other things here. When we have uh, now the, the partitions, uh, the, the dividers are going up for the uh, 4th of July parades and also fireworks. When we had Hurricane Matthew, one of the things that happened is they they blocked off the um, parking ramp at the Prince Resort. They didn't want people in there for liability reasons, which is a bit unfortunate because, um, well, they, they don't want the liability for their underwriting. It's all kind of complicated. But the reality of it is one of the reasons why this place is on, um, on stilts, a lot of these buildings you can see are, are elevated uh, because uh, the storm surge will come in and cover this road. Hurricane Matthew went several feet over the road here and uh, then inland, just a few blocks, that's going to mean it's going to be a lot higher. That's just what it does. So one of the things that we're going to see, there's going to be an exodus from the beach here any moment. There's people moving right now uh, because of the storm coming in. There may have already been a massive wave of people coming off. Here's a concrete truck running this way. I had a video uh, that I, I called uh, uh, Concrete Seeks Level, and it does. It does. And when, when it seeks its level and then it um, cures, it's going to keep its, it's going to stay solid. Uh, we can see in the middle of the view the, the drain that's in the ground and the low spot in that parking area. Just going to pull up a little bit. There's a lot of wind coming in and, and people are packing up. When, when a gust of wind comes through uh, 40, 50 mile an hour, it'll take those umbrellas and, and just throw them all over the place. They, um, they took the, uh, they blunted the end of the, the uh, umbrella pole because there had been people that were impaled by them. So it's really important to uh, be aware when you're, uh, when you're out here. Uh, even, even though it's uh, sanctioned by the, the city, 
the uh, the reality is there's a lot of people out here with their own stuff that can be uh, quite a problem. Uh, their own umbrellas and that that can go fly in. So depending on how the weather is, I, I may be uh, going ahead and doing a, a broadcast for the 4th of July fireworks out here. But we've got a lot of um, a lot of storm storms uh, in this area right now, and scheduled for the next uh, several days. So, because we don't have a, um, a scheduled storm arrival like um, a hurricane, this isn't blocked off. And yet what I'll be able to do is take us up a little bit higher on the deck and show you what it looks like, you know, somewhat protected. Yeah, right now I, it's, I can't say that I've ever been live this long with, um, with no viewers. That tells me they're doing something with my... Interestingly enough, interestingly enough it said that I... I had no um, connection. I've never had that happen here before. There we go. This is all kind of kind of interesting. It's um, the level of intelligence that uh, artificial super intelligence actually is is beyond what most people can even comprehend. And I'm not saying I I totally get all of it. I just know it's beyond me. And so there's um, an intuitive willingness to do what God created me to do. And why would I do anything else? That's pretty much how I weigh in on that. Why would I do anything else? So with that in mind, I'll just, um, if I believe I need to go left or right, um, that's what I'll do. So I, I do have some errands to run this afternoon. It's not going to be a, a massively long uh, broadcast. However, I wanted to simply create a video that will ultimately go into the uh, YouTube, um, my hashtag YouTube uh, titles, and there will be Bank Holiday. I'm going to talk about it. Almost all the commerce in our world for quite some time is digital. It's not, um, it's, it's not currency. You should know that. That's actually a really big deal. Okay, so these people are waiting for somebody else. So I'm going to go around them. It's kind of weird. Okay. Yeah, this, this is really weird. Yeah, I've never had that happen before, but I, I want to go ahead and get us up to the, um, the top of the ramp here. Normally when I come out here, it's uh, going to be like for a sunrise, and there's pretty clear sailing. So this part of the ramp is level, and then when I go around the corner, See if you can uh, sense the going up will be rising. It's more than a sensation in the seat of the car. But that's just part of the deal. Now we're level, and it, it'll keep on doing that. It looks different. certainly feels different. Yeah, I see a lot of people are leaving right now. That's what's going on. Notice the, um, the height of the ceiling in relationship to the side. Uh, and then on the final floor, that's the one that's going to be level. 
and uh, and it's the it's the top one, so it'll look a bit different. So just um, kind of a little bit of housekeeping on how I'll drive through this. I'll just go all the way to the outer edge. I'm supposed to be able to have that lane. Cars are supposed to be able to go up and down um, even, even when there's somebody else there. That's kind of the idea of that. We're almost there. This is G7. Now look at the border on the right side. See how all of a sudden, wow. Okay, so I'm going to comment on that. See how the ceiling is level and then we're going up. That's just how that works right now here. So I did a, another video this morning where it appeared that the sun was in the midst of the clouds. Just as Job 37 proclaims. So one of my errands is to uh, return my um, my headphones that failed. So I'm going to try and block the wind somewhat where I put my mic. That's the uh, Myrtle Beach skyline there. Can't see it. There's a wall of water coming this way. So to understand and, and to be clear on this, the, the water temperature is increasing quite a bit because the, of the way that the sun moves above the stationary and level Earth. It's, uh, the Earth isn't moving. The sun, moon, and stars move above the stationary Earth. That's just how it actually works. And that's not based on uh, popular opinion. It's not determined by what somebody wants it to be. It's determined by the reality of what it actually is. So that's why I want people to base uh, your opinion or your belief on reality. So it's pretty obvious that there's a storm brewing and a lot of people will just wait until the last minute because they're staying here or they're close by or they don't mind getting a shower. And then other people will, um, will leave like they have been. It's cleared off quite a bit. So I'm having intermittent uh, connectivity issues with my cellular. It could be because of all the massive humidity and storms, I don't know. It could also be that there's so much activity on the network. That's also a, a possibility. So there's actually a lot of wind moving around now. Wanted to show you that this is uh, facing inland. We live um, over in the middle of the view about seven miles away.
and we can see a lower tide, a lot of ground is exposed. This is the Prince Resort in Cherry Grove, South Carolina. So one of the reasons why I show and hashtag my name quite a bit and YouTube Truth is so it deposits uh, my content along with um, others, I can direct them there. So like for example, there was somebody kind of wanting evidence, wanting me to explain something and well what I did is I hashtag my name. Keep in mind that when I'm there on a, on a YouTube video, uh, they can see that the name of my channel is Truth they don't know what my name is. Over 30 million people saw my name at the Flat Earth Conferences and it's different uh, uh, derivatives or, or episodes of, of making fun of Flat Earthers, Flat Earthers and that kind of thing. I don't mind. I don't mind at all because uh, the demographic of who's waking up, well, take a look around you. It's a lot of the younger people that are subscribers to like Logan Paul, YouTube, uh, PewDiePie, Triggered Troll. So even though they're making fun of the reality of the Earth not being a globe, what it does is it causes uh, those individuals to critically think a little bit. Wow, why would so many people um, uh, be okay with being ridiculed? Why would they do it anyway? Well, because the truth matters, that's why. on my uh, channel beach renourishment videos some of them where I flipped it upside down I'll do it right now yeah that doesn't look right does it does that even look possible to you people and cars and water all upside down does that look like it could happen anywhere yeah, I'm, I'm calling it as a lie. That's the way it is. There's up and down, not upside down in relationship to each other. So I'm going to take us on out, take us on out for a drive. It's getting pretty gray. It's going to get pretty wet and um, I've got some errands to run. So I brought my umbrella too. The lights on makes a big, big difference in uh, getting around and what we can see and more importantly that people can see us when we're driving around. It's a big deal. So this is a, a public area that's free to park and uh, one of the things that I, I showed at a different location would be the um, the parking cables uh, lining up with the horizon. Now in the view right there should be able to see the uh, 
the slanting downward concrete and the level horizon. Once, uh, you know, once I saw this for what it is, the grand deception that is being forced on humanity, I wanted to let people know. Um, and, and the reason for that is that it's actually really important. And it's not just a little thing. It conscripts all of the, all of the uh, media input from the magazines and the, and the uh, television, radio. Uh, the, the deception is all around us. So the reason why I brought the Santa Claus hat and the mirrors to the Flat Earth Conference, I wanted people to take a look in the mirror and take a look in the rear view mirror and realize that when they were kids, most people believed we lived on a spinning, or a, that Santa was real, trying to figure out whether or not he was going to bring us a lump of coal or our wish list. How about that? Yeah, how does that work? Well, it works really well. It, that would be part of the hive mind and the peer pressure of um, influencing people to deceive. Yeah, that's just what it was. You know, it's interesting. Now my, um, my camera is not adjusting. I don't know why. It normally would when I change, um, when I tap the, the camera. I'm going to flip it around here. So as we look at the young families, you know, they'll, they'll see my vehicle. Uh, a lot of the young children will uh, end up um, saying to me, oh, you're a YouTuber? Or I'll just notice the way that they'll look at my shirt or my car. And because what happened shortly after Facebook or I should say, shortly after YouTube changed their mobile app. Uh, let me see if I can clear that a bit. That's better. That was probably my problem. A little lens stuff. Anyway, um, shortly after YouTube went to their new look for their logo on the mobile app, I put it on my shirt. I was right there with it. So... Right now, uh, one in three children is on a smartphone before they, before they walk. That's pretty amazing. And some would say it's tragic. Um, it's just the way that it actually is. Now, one of the realities of all that <clears throat> is that there's at least some, um, a little bit of truth available on the, on the YouTube. All the major networks are there. So when when they use the logic of, oh, you figured this flat earth thing out from watching YouTube videos. Well, all the major networks and all of that are on YouTube as well. It just gives us the option to have brave individuals provide uh, the truth, like yours truly. And it's not just uh, what I'm talking about and what I'm showing. I had somebody say, I just need to learn some science yeah, on one of my videos. So I copied and pasted some uh, my, my uh, playlist of my liked videos. I can do that. It's on my channel. Hashtag omniscience. Hashtag omnipotence. Yeah. Yeah, learn some science. I learn every day. I didn't delete his comment. Now that I have... Uh, a high percentage of uh, people that are uh, on board with exposing the truth, I'll just go ahead and continually um, keep moving on. I'll just keep on moving on and, and people can do what they want to do. So I, I did go over and subscribe to his channel. I'm his only subscriber in that special. So he's uh, apparently got this wealth of information, but no subscribers except for me and no content either. Interesting, how about that? That's not unusual though. Um, the the chat bots and the sock puppet accounts and that can be much more elaborate. They're, by irony and paradox, the, the deceived are unaware that they're deceived. So with that in mind, what ends up happening 
is that a lot of people are doing what they believe is the right thing to do, and they're not, (laughs) and they don't know, and they don't know they don't know. With pride as a powerful catalyst, they're going to think themselves well-informed in informing others. To be intellectually honest, I could be struggling with that too. If I found out that somewhere along the line I was deceived on something, I would, um, I would come clean on it. I'd let you know. There's my friend Rita. You know, this is really interesting. I've been live for, oh gosh, probably over a half an hour now, and there's not one live viewer through the whole thing. So I don't know if it's um, if it's a, a broadcast that's actually gonna gonna take or not. In the event that it actually did. Uh, what I'll what I'll do is, and that it's still recording and just not showing me the the viewers what I would say is I really don't know how many subscribers on YouTube I actually have I have no way of knowing just because there's a, a, a counter there oh by the way I'm at uh, 15 according to what what's what YouTube is telling me uh, 1507. Uh, subscribers. I remember when um, it was a few years ago when I found out that I needed to have a hundred subscribers to go live mobile. <clears throat> but here's the cool thing. I can, um, you if you care to, can go live on Facebook in a, in a moment and then uh, click on the three dots on the upper right side, download the video, and upload it to YouTube if you want. So if I had a security situation, and an imminent threat on me, I'm not going to type in a title. I would probably go live on, um, on Facebook just like that because of my nearly, like, uh, it's close to... 9,000 people I'm connected with on Facebook. What will end up happening, here's the other really um, important thing. There is a a notification process that goes on with Facebook. And there's about 2 billion Facebook users right now out here. So what ends up happening with that, with, um, with the live notification, Sometimes people might be randomly wondering, hey, I wonder what's going on there, especially if there's an event. If there was um, a power outage in an area and there was chaos, people would be looking for the live broadcast from that area. Okay, so one of the things that's that's happening now, like I was mentioning with the sun rising later here, is that it's heating up the ocean more. It's running a different path over the stationary Earth. Both the sun and the moon and the stars uh, move different paths. Um, the, the stars are extremely consistent. Um, and the sun and the moon are very consistent in the path that they run through the seasons. It's uh, not a not kind of like a random haphazard, well, I, I hope the sun does this or that uh, this time of the year. Apparently, it just keeps on doing the same thing. So it's pretty easy for the um, artificial intelligence algorithms to uh, be able to uh, pick up on that and know what it actually is. So it's it's pretty effective at, at that. So, like, for example, I, I said... One of my friends said, how do they uh, project the tides? 
well, it's just they, they look at what it's done before, and then it just continues to uh, repeat that through the, through the seasons and that. Now, I've got my gallon jug in the car in a different location, but what I'll typically say is, do you know how much a gallon of water weighs? Sometimes people will spit out an answer with a point something something, and I'll say, well, it depends on the temperature. Here's the deal. The uh, temperature changes density and volume of water sufficiently that it drives the whole water cycle of the world, the hydrologic cycle. So that what, what happens is the water warms up, expands, reduces in density, the cooler water will go down to the bottom of the container. Um, and then when we look at, for example, towering cumulus clouds, in front of us right there um, that's all taking place just because it's a it's a system that God created that's the way it actually works so I'm good with that I don't have a problem at all with that what what has happened though is that when uh, when we're looking at weather modification one of the things that's going on is that there are um, times when, when added energy, electronics, um, high active auroral research program project in, uh, in Gakona, Alaska is an ionospheric heater. They'll energize the atmosphere or the air around us. So there's a dome up above us that they can bounce frequency off of. There aren't uh, satellites as we're that as we've been told that's part of the hoax part of the part of the fakery um, it's just ridiculous you can you can research satellites if you want there's if you hashtag NASA lies you'll find a lot of content that I've created a lot of um, and then those that I've shared as well so if you hashtag my name Robert Forsh it goes through the various social media platforms. I'm on Tumblr, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and, and all of that. So it'll bridge over all of those, which can be helpful to, to let you make an informed choice, to let you see what's going on in, in the different um, venues that I'm on. And I believe that that matters because there's all different groups of people, and some of them are, are more effective at operating in different, on different platforms. And then it's easier to, to share that content, to like it, save it, share it, all of that. So that what I, you know, I've said it before, and I'll, I'll bring it up again, it isn't a me show, it's a we show. It's a collaborative effort where we work together to expose the reality of this world to a population that largely is uh, spending a lot of time and effort to uh, be deceived and distracted. Uh, they're, they're normally uh, real busy. There's a document called Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. It's uh, Bro Lance is uh, the channel that um, narrated it. He did a great job of doing that. I, I did a live broadcast of it. Um, so that it could be my own uh, video, but here's the thing. He's got like thousands of likes and many, many views, like um, over 300,000 views or so of that, of that video. So what I'll typically do is when I just click like on a video, it adds it to my liked video playlist. And that's why I make my liked video playlist publicly available. It just simplifies that whole dynamic. I don't have to mirror, I don't typically mirror videos. I don't think I've ever mirrored a video. I would rather bring all of the views and commenting and moderating. Keep in mind when I bring somebody else's video over like an ODD video that's got over a million views or a Celebrate Truth uh, video and 
there are so many other channels with millions of views. I would rather bring that acknowledgement that millions of people have seen what I'm showing you right now and there's tens of thousands of likes rather than me mirroring it and look like I'm a little kid with my lemonade stand of truth over here. Uh, to a certain extent that's true. They're trying to censor me out of effectiveness, but I'll continue to work through this to try and help people to see the reality of the world that we live in. And um, I want to bring those uh, those videos on over to do that. Well, I was going to go to the post office, but it looks like I can't go in that direction. That's kind of weird. I don't know if they're closed or what. So, for example, recently I've made a, a video where I show my address, 169 Cloverleaf Drive, Long, South Carolina, 29568, and my phone number, 1-843-504-1776. Uh, you can call any time. You could send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, and I'll send you some stickers if you want. And if you wanted to, you could write whenever you care to, you could hashtag my name or hashtag YouTube Truth. If you like the shirt and you would like some, I've had people ask me if I sell them. I don't sell merch. I don't sell merchandise at this time. I don't know that I ever will uh, because I want to make the truth available for free and I don't want to charge for it. So um, I'm going to flip this around for just a, a moment. Look at how beautiful those big clouds are. Now there's uh, clouds up above and clouds below. The lower clouds are moving pretty fast. The ones up higher aren't moving. So there's empirical evidence that we can, that we can evaluate that, that shows the impossibility of this 1,038 mile an hour rotation, supposedly of the globe, the, the sphere, you know, I've shown this with um, spinning, you know, and uh, water doesn't stick to it. Even if I hold it still, it just uh, will run off of it. You can't flood a ball, can't get uh, much water to stick to it. A thin little layer of water is all that. It'll, it'll get wet, but it's you can't pile it up. So with that in mind, what I what I would simply say is that we're, we're told um, we're given a lie, and we're presented it as unquestionable uh, reality. And uh, Christoph in the Truman uh, movie uh, was asked the question, why do you suppose Truman, uh, un until just recently, didn't realize uh, the truth of all this? And he said, well, basically because, or the nature of his world. And he said, well, basically, we accept the reality with which we're presented. And that's just the, the nature of that. Well, I'll tell you what, I was going to make a left turn there. I decided to forget that. Yeah, and there, there's different strategies. I'm too close to an intersection to want to do that. There's other options. So typically what I'll do is I'll pull into a parking lot and do my turn in there because just turning around on the street, that's illegal in most places. can do it at an intersection though. All right, so I started, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be going, oh, okay, so I can show you a little bit more. Uh, there was uh, lightning right in the middle of the view up there. Kind of interesting. And what I've noticed, maybe you've seen this too, is that uh, depending on the altitude of the clouds, there will be uh, different layers of air moving in different directions. That's not uncommon to see that.
Oh, that's kind of cool. We've got uh, uh, not actually a farmer's market, uh, but yeah, kind of, they've got a, a fresh produce store from local here. That's kind of nice. We've got different uh, venues for that here too. Other, uh, other areas that, that do that. So what I'm encouraging people to do is to seek the truth with all your heart because it matters for eternity. And uh, you can reach out and call me anytime if you care to. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them. Sometimes I'll, I'll delete comments if it's a little bit too controversial. or Not, not too controversial if it's uh, doubtful that what is being said is, is true. I'll, I'll take that off there. Keep in mind that sometimes I put videos on my channel that are um, obviously uh, making fun of the truth. I want you to see that. Some of you know that. Uh, one of the other things that I would say is that um, I'll get a different search result than you will, very likely. Um, it's different for all of us. And the reason why I say that is because that's important for you to know. And what I've done is created this liked video playlist over the last um, years, quite a few, well, like five years or better. And because of that, uh, there, there were recommendations that you might not get recommended now, probably wouldn't. Um, and that's part of the playing hide and seek with the truth. So that's been going on for a long time. They're wanting to present it to some and hide it from others. So from, from obscurity, <laughs> here I am. This is Robert Forsch. Thank you so much for your uh, likes and shares. That's probably reversed there. I think that that's how uh, Facebook does it. But it's, you can see it if you care to. And feel free to reach out anytime. Thank you so much.